everybody welcome back to my channel i'm gonna get straight into this video with this headband wig so first you're gonna need the velcro headband i got this at my local beauty supply store for four dollars i got it in black um and this is what it looks like it's nice velvety it has the adjustable velcro on there um and yeah, you're going to need a needle and thread as well. I end up changing that thread later on. You're going to need a pair of scissors, a brush, and some ponytail holders. And then, of course, you're going to need your wig of choice. Now, first, I'm going to be brushing out this wig to make sure all of the knots are out. Um, and then I'm going to be separating the front section of the wig into two sections. And so what I'm pretty much doing is I'm cutting off all of the lace. This was a 16, not a 16, a 13 by 6 um, lace front wig and I'm cutting off all that lace in the front um, because I can't sew on there because it'll just rip now I'm just gonna cut that off um, you're cutting this off because the headband wig like all the other headband wig basically they sit a little farther back on your head um, so I'm cutting this part off so it's not bulky in the front um, and this is what it looks like once I cut off all the lace I'm gonna grab the velvet headband. I'm gonna making sure this sharp part is facing outward so that when I pull it around my head, it comes together um, in a way that it's not gonna be like messing up my actual hair. I don't know if that makes sense. But pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start sewing the wig onto this headband. So first I'm gonna pin this headband down to the mannequin head um, so that way it's not slipping off. And then I'm gonna pull my wig on top of there and sew the wig to the headband. So now I'm going to grab my wig and place it on top of the headband um, and I'm going to make sure that I'm not sewing it at the edge of the headband because I don't want this to like slide off or rip off when I'm brushing the hair. So I'm moving it a little closer to the center of the headband to make sure it's really secure and that it's not going to come off um, and then I'm going to pin that down. So I decided to change the thread that I'm using because this brown thread is a little thicker than this black thread. Um, you can use black thread, I just didn't have any so I'm just stuck with this brown one. But pretty much what I'm doing is I'm going to sew this wig horizontally on the headband. Um, I'm making sure that I'm going through the wig and to the headband. You're going to want to make sure that you're not just sewing the the wig to itself um, so I'm periodically lifting it up to make sure that it's actually attached to the headband um, before I continue going on all right guys so I'm done sewing this um, strap to the wig this is what the final wig looks like I curled the ends a little bit you know just cuz um, but this is what the stitching looks up close. You can kind of see it. I don't know. You can kind of see it like, you know, right off the bat, but you're going to put a headband over it. So nobody's going to look at it. Um, my camera cut off while I was stitching, but after I finished stitching across this way, I went vertically, um, that way. And so that's what these stitches are across. This is what it looks like underneath. Pretty, pretty secure, pretty secure. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, install it so you can see how to install it and then we'll be done. So first off, I'm going to do my baby hairs, well my edges. Um, for that I'm using this 24 hour edge tamer and an edge brush. Um, I'm just going to do a little quick swoopy swoopy swoop. They're kind of already done because I went somewhere earlier, but I need to fix it. So. Now I'm going to put a wig cap on just to, you know, protect my hair underneath this. Of 
cool. This is what it's going to look like underneath the wig. I'm going to grab the headband that I'm going to use first um, because it's kind of one of those overhead ones. I'm using this black one and I'm just going to put it on and leave it on my neck. I'm doing this because it's going to make it a whole lot easier when I'm going to be putting the wig on. So this is what the wig looks like. The only thing I don't, the only thing I don't like about um, these headband wigs is the hair itself gets stuck on the on the velcro that's the only thing i hate about it um but other than that it's nice it um i mean it's just really quick and easy style to put on all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on i'm gonna put it on through the back slip it on my head like this okay and to make sure this hair stops getting stuck on the velcro and is just not in the way I'm gonna collect all of it collect all of it and just pin it up here for a quick second while I strap these velcros back here so this is what it's gonna look like I'm gonna just go ahead and strap it in the back like that that's what it's gonna look like um, and then I can go ahead and just let this go that's what it looks like now you could leave it like this I mean you will kind of see the stitching what you can do is just grab the extra velcro that's right here and just hit a nice whoop-de-whoop -whoop, fix it up so you're not seeing that wig hat that's what it will look like if you just flipped it over but I'm not gonna leave it like that I'm gonna go ahead and put this headband on and then we'll be done make sure you're covering that velcro then I'm gonna pull my hair to the front and that's pretty much the look so thank you for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it and I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to your ghost channel for more content. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.